Every year, young students throughout our state get the opportunity to take part in the She Tech Summit. It prepares those students for STEM careers. And joining me now is Samantha Turner. She's a student at Summa Vista High School. She is a senior this year. You are about mm -hmm. to graduate. Yep. And you started going to She Tech your freshman year? Yes, I started my freshman, sophomore year. I wasn't actually particularly interested in it at first. Um, my friends kind of convinced me to go. They were like, hey, this, there's this event going on. You get to go to, on a field trip. You get to get out of school. And I was like, okay. You know, Great. I'll get out of school. I'll get out of school. And see what it's all about. Right. And what did, what did you find? Why did you fall in love with it? Um, well, She Tech is like, it's a program that allows like young women to get connected with leaders and get hands-on experiences that has helped them through, yeah, that helps them throughout their education and beyond. And I've learned a lot about like anything from cosmetics like the chemistry behind cosmetics to coding to interior design and it's really cool to see how stem applies to these kind of different careers. were you interested in those things before she tech no I probably would never have even considered those kind of options before um, right now like my junior year I got really into forensics and this is kind of my workshop but then now I'm kind of more interested in digital media and video production so okay what do you mean by forens forensics what did you learn that got you excited so we were t I was learning about um, the different careers that you can get in forensics and there's the there's crime scene investigators who are those who like directly go to the crime of the scene and they try to figure out what happened it's your basic like CSI show you know well and maybe you see that on mm -hmm. TV but you don't know if that's right for you and how it relates to mm -hmm. you and she tech puts you in the right direction right it showed me like how like the math behind this kind of like this kind of career is and it's really cool to see so then were you that person after that said everyone should come <laughs> yeah <You> were, <laughs> they had to talk you into it uh -huh. and now you're the person that says mm -hmm. everyone go check this out right and in fact you're doing your own workshops now mm -hmm. tell us about those so um, this last year we had like a little bit of competition and I got to do a workshop and, and I did it in a math in the math category and so um, I kind of did like a little experiment, experiment on how crime scene investigators, how they figure out what happens in a scene. All right, Samantha, show mm -hmm. our viewers what you did. Okay, so crime scene investigators, they'll come to the scene and they'll see something kind of like this where it's like a blood stain or kind of like just like, like a splatter, a splatter of some mm -hmm. sort and they'll try to figure out where it came from. They'll try to find this area of origin uh, where like the point of impact happened, where did the injury occur. And so from here, they'll take a few different spots and they will measure out, they'll kind of trace through the line and follow their tails and they'll kind of all come to this area of convergence. So are you tracing the biggest splatter spots? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you usually do, generally do the biggest spots and they kind of come all converge in this like little area right here. And then from here, they will take a few spots, let's take this one for example, and they'll measure out the, width, the width and the length. And I already have it on my calculator. Um, and you'll take the width and divide it by the length and you take the arc sign of that number and you'll get an angle. And then from here, we kind of make a triangle, a 90 degree angle triangle. And we, like right here, our degree is, let's see, 52 degrees roughly. Okay. So you did the width and the length of mm -hmm. that spatter, that spot. Mm -hmm. And got the arc sign of that number. Okay. And then we have this 90 degree. So now we have this kind of triangle forming and this will show us where our area of origin is. So from here, um, you'll find the tan of that angle and you'll multiply it by the, um, the adjacent this line right here and you'll get 8.66 centimeters which is about right here roughly. So this is where, this is where the point of impact happened. This is where I, splay, I sprayed the paint onto the is that the cool that mm -hmm. you could figure all that out yeah. and use math? I mean, you lost me mm -hmm. about five minutes ago. I need to go to <laughs> SheTech myself to keep up with you. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Is that what made you go, wait a second? Yeah. That might be for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool to see how math applies to real world situations. Because, like, generally, you're kind of just kind of conditioned to think that math is sitting in a desk, getting those 100 math questions, you know, bust out those 100 math questions. I'll never use this. Did <laughs> yeah. you say that out loud? Uh-huh. I'll never use this. Uh-huh. I will My 15-year-old says that all the time. <laughs> I will never use this. And guess what? You I'm, do. You're using it. Mm -hmm, I'm using it. And it's, it's really cool to see how that applies. And, like, math just showed us, like, a story. It showed us what happened. And... I don't know, like... Or the story behind the story. Yeah, the story behind right? the story. <laughs> right. It did. Okay, so what do you want to do now with all of this knowledge? Well, um, like I said, I got really into this kind of stuff my, for my junior year. But now I... She Tech kind of showed me a few different career options. And they showed me how, like, 
like Adobe came and did a presentation for us, and I got really into video production and you know creating digital media and photography. So now that's what I want to do. Well, you might be right here with us. <laughs> At ABC4, <laughs> we might see you here soon. Mm -hmm. Virtual Summit this year, everybody, for SheTech. It is coming up on April 21st. For more information, go to SheTechExplorer.com or you can go to our website and we'll link you. Samantha, give everyone the pitch, all the girls watching to the parents of the girls watching out there. Awesome. I really recommend going to SheTech. I've always, I've had an amazing experience. I, um, they, that's not only the SheTech Explorer Day that you get to go and you get to see these presentations by several different companies. You also get to do like internships over the summer. You get to be a part of the student SheTech board, which I, it's an amazing experience, and I, I highly recommend it if you, yeah. I don't know. If maybe you should go into broadcasting. <laughs> Brian, she might take your job. Watch out. Samantha, thank you, you read the so much. I know. Like, how, okay, will you read that? Will you read that? Let's, here's your audition. Do you see okay. that up there? Go ahead. Toasted, toasted s'mores? Yeah, okay. keep going. Up next, a toasted s'mores treat in the kitchen. What can she not do, Brian? <laughs> I don't know. She's got everything covered so far. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> and still ahead, a mother's inspirational story of nearly fulfilling a personal dream. Hear why she says you shouldn't let life's obstacles stand in your way. And in our second hour, make yourself a delicious winter salad. See what's in the recipe that makes it nutritious and tasty.